Hey everybody, welcome back as we take a fresh look at Descent Alps on the Oculus Quest. It has been a while since I played Descent Alps and there's been some big changes, most notably the backdrop and artwork for the various courses. I love the look of the original version, but this latest update to the overall look is well done and gives me a more retro vibe. But before we begin, don't forget to be kept up to date on some of the latest games under development for the Oculus Quest. Hit that subscribe button to join the search for the next big game to come out. Now, on with the review. Difficulty settings have been added, easy, normal, and hard. With each of these selections, it offers different placements of the gates, adding more replayability to each of the courses and providing a little bit more challenge. Along with the difficulty settings, free ride has been introduced to allow you to ski down your favorite course without worrying about making it through the gates and just taking in the scenery. A very relaxing mode, though it is kind of quiet, as in, no music. I would love to have the option to play a song that normally plays in the regular downhill mode. The fourth course, called High Altitude, has been added to the already dynamic existing courses. The High Altitude course gives you a great feeling of high speed as you fly down the mountain ridge above Timberline. This brings the total to four downhill courses to race, not counting the tutorial. Global rankings are new to me. Pretty cool, and holy cow, if these scores are accurate, I have a lot of practicing to do. The rhythm aspect of this game still mostly eludes me, and I really struggle to match my moves to the beat to spawn coins. For me though, this is not unique to this game. Unless the beat sync is completely obvious, I just won't get the rhythm. Luckily, there is no real penalty for my lack of rhythm other than less coin spawns, as far as I can tell. Even the jumping mechanic feels better. You actually notice yourself jumping off a lip or a mound, leaving you with a satisfying feeling of flying through the air for a short time. We are still waiting for the snowboard aspect of the game. Not sure when it will be here, but the dev has acknowledged it is a work in progress, and that he wants to get it right before putting it out there. The latest updates have been impressive, and adds a lot for you to pay attention to, as you speed your way down the different courses. The feel is really good, keeping your meter full, collecting rings, making it through the gates, avoiding damage, all that while the beautiful landscape passes by. There's plenty of challenge to really fine-tune your runs down the course. With 27,000 clicks to itch, a ton of people have already tried this out. If you're one of them and this is not quite what you wanted, give it another try. The dev might have added that little something that you thought was missing since the last time you played. 